Today we're going to be exploring 15 billionaires who came from nothing. You'll see how they started with no money, no job, and no future, and were able to transform their lives. Everyone struggles, but it's rare for people to become as wildly successful as these individuals. These guys came from the bottom and managed to make it to the top, disproving the theory that you need money to make money. They'll inspire you, and some of the people on this list will probably shock you. So let's dive right in. At number 15, we have David Murdoch. With an almost unbelievable current net worth of $2 billion, David Murdoch is the chairman and CEO of Dole Foods, an agricultural multinational organization. But it wasn't always this way for him. Murdoch's father was a traveling salesman while his mother worked as a housekeeper to make ends meet. In other words, Murdoch was raised in poverty and had to fend for himself from a young age. Despite all of the odds being stacked against him, Murdoch was able to make it. When he became the CEO and chairman of Dole Foods, he became one of the most successful men on this planet. And for good reason, Dole Foods is now worth an absolutely astounding amount of money. Murdoch is a rags to riches story if there ever was one, and he's a great example of how it's never too late to change your life for the better. No matter where you come from or how much money you have, you can always make something of yourself if you're willing to work hard and strive for success. At number 14, we have Alec Gores. Alec Gores is an American businessman who comes in at number 14 on our list. He's the founder, chairman, and CEO of the Gores Group, a global investment firm. But like Murdoch, Gores wasn't always so lucky. He was actually born in Israel and had to move to the United States when he was just 15 years old. When he first arrived in America, Gores had to work as a grocery store bagger for his uncle's business. He was only paid 25 cents an hour, which made it extremely difficult for him to get by. But Gores was determined to make something of himself, and eventually, he did. Number 13 should come as no surprise with Oprah Winfrey. Oprah Winfrey is an American media mogul, talk show host, actress, producer, and philanthropist. She's best known for her talk show, The Oprah Winfrey Show, which was the highest-rated television program of its kind in history. Winfrey has been ranked the richest African-American of the 20th century and the greatest black philanthropist in American history. But it wasn't always this way for her. Oprah was born into poverty and faced so many challenges. She was molested by her cousin, uncle, and a family friend. Despite all these setbacks, Oprah was able to overcome them and become one of the most successful people in the world. She's an inspiration to us all, and her story is a reminder that no matter how difficult life may seem, it's always possible to turn things around. At number 12, we have Jean-Paul de Joria. Worth an incredible $2.7 billion, Jean-Paul de Joria is an American businessman and philanthropist. He's the co-founder of Jean-Paul Mitchell Systems, a hair care company, and the Patron Spirits Company. But like many other people on this list, DeJoria was not born into wealth. In fact, his parents divorced when he was just two years old. His mother was unable to take care of both him and his sister, so DeJoria was sent to a foster home. He was later reunited with his mother, but they were so poor that he often had to go without food. He had to sell Christmas cards door to door just to make ends meet. But despite all of these challenges, DeJoria was able to pull himself up and become one of the richest men in the world. Mohed Altrad comes in at number 11. With over $3.5 billion, Mohed Altrad is a Syrian businessman who ranks 11th on our list. He's a French Syrian businessman who spent his youth in Syria. He was able to earn a scholarship worth 200 francs from the Syrian government and used this to move to France. Now 72 years old, Altrad is one of the most successful businessmen in the world. The CEO of Aerotech comes in at number 10. One of the biggest staffing companies in the world, Aerotech was founded in 1983 by Stephen Bisky. He's an American businessman and is currently worth a shocking $4.6 billion. Biscuiti was born to a middle-class Italian-American family, but his father passed away when he was just eight years old. This forced him to fend for himself from a young age, but he was eventually able to start Aerotech, which is now one of the most successful companies in the world. At number nine, let's talk about Howard Schultz. Howard Schultz, more famously known as the CEO of Starbucks, is an American businessman with a current net worth of $4.7 billion. Schultz was born to a poor family in the Bronx, New York. His father was a truck driver while his mother stayed at home to take care of the children. This man lived in housing projects, and his family struggled to make ends meet. Did this stop him? Ask the millions of Americans drinking Starbucks coffee every day. Schultz is now one of the richest men in the world, and his story is definitely one of the most inspiring. Number 8 is Ken Langone. Ken Langone is an American businessman and philanthropist with a current net worth of $4.8 billion. Ken Langone was born to working class parents. His father was a plumber while his mother was a cafeteria worker. But despite his humble beginnings, Langone was eventually able to become one of the richest men in the world. This is largely due to the fact that he organized financing for founding Home Depot, which is now one of the biggest retail companies in the world. If you've ever shopped for home improvement supplies, there's a good chance you've been to a Home Depot store. And if you have, well, just know that the owner of the store is one of the richest men in the world, and he started with nothing. Ralph Lauren comes in at number 7 on this list. With a net worth of $6.8 billion, Ralph Lauren is an American fashion designer and businessman. He's 
best known for the Ralph Lauren Corporation, a company that he founded in 1967. His beginnings were hardly glamorous, however. Lauren was born to Jewish immigrants in New York City. His father worked as a painter, while his mother was a housewife. Despite their humble beginnings, Lauren was eventually able to make something of himself, and now he's one of the richest men in the world. Number 6 is Harold Hamm. Harold Hamm's parents were sharecroppers and started pumping gas as well as repairing cars to make ends meet, before becoming a tycoon in the oil and gas business. Now with a current net worth of $7.2 billion, Hamm is one of the richest men in the world. But seeing as he grew up with some of the most modest beginnings possible, it just goes to show that everyone can make it if they try. Shahid Khan comes in at number 5 with a net worth of $7.9 billion. Shahid Khan is a Pakistani-American businessman who is the owner of the Jacksonville Jaguars of the National Football League, or NFL, as well as Fulham FC of the English Premier League. He also owns Flexingate, an American automotive components manufacturer. Khan was born in Lahore, Pakistan and immigrated to the United States when he was just 16 years old. He initially worked as a dishwasher at a local restaurant while attending the University of Illinois at Urbana-Champaign. Though this might put a damper on the plans of many, Khan turned his life around and made some serious cash. George Soros comes in at number 4. Though he's most commonly known as the man who broke the Bank of England, George Soros is an American-born Hungarian Jewish businessman, investor, and philanthropist. He's currently worth $8 billion. Soros may be known to many as the conspiracy theorist's favorite punching bag, but his current net worth says otherwise. Though he's faced many challenges in his life, such as surviving the Nazi occupation of Hungary, Soros has managed to become one of the richest men in the world. The owner of the Chelsea Football Club comes in at number 3. Robin Abramovich is a Russian-Israeli billionaire businessman, investor, and politician. He is the primary owner of the private investment company Millhouse LLC and is best known for his ownership of Chelsea Football Club. He also has a current net worth of $14.4 billion, but lost both of his parents before he turned four years old. He was raised by relatives and had to work as a street trader and a mechanic at a factory, among other things, to make ends meet. Number two is Thomas Petrofi. Thomas Petrofi is a Hungarian-born American billionaire businessman and entrepreneur. He's the founder, chairman, and CEO of the online discount brokerage firm Interactive Brokers Group, which he started in 1977. Though he's worth an absolutely astounding $23.9 billion, Petrofi was born in a hospital basement in Hungary during a Russian air raid. He didn't have an easy life, but he was eventually able to make it to America, and that's where he struck gold. Finally, at number one, we have Larry Ellison. Larry Ellison might be one of the richest men on the planet, with a current net worth of $88.4 billion, but he didn't have an easy life. Ellison was actually born to an unwed mother and contracted pneumonia when he was just nine months old. As a result, he was given up for adoption. His adoptive father lost a fortune in the Great Depression and had to drop out of college when Ellison's adoptive mother passed away. He then worked multiple odd jobs before finally creating Oracle, which is now one of the most successful companies in the world. So there you have it, 15 billionaires who came from nothing. No matter how difficult life may seem, it's always possible to turn things around and make something of yourself. But what are your thoughts? Let us know in the comments.